Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Wednesday, December 27th, and today's video is for entertainment only. We continue to watch for any news related to the Bitcoin spot ETF launch. And in the meantime, let's look at the markets on banterbubbles.com. So looking at the day, top 100 tokens, nice green day for crypto. Optimism up almost 27, Bit and soar up 16.7, Bitcoin SV up. 40, Mina up 16.6, Polygon Matic up 13.7, Immutable X up almost 9, Lido up 11.8, Avi up 7.4, Bitcoin's up 2%, uh, Ethereum's up as well, I don't see that in here, but uh, Thorchain's up 3.5, there's Ethereum up 6.8. Uh, there are a few red bubbles, but nice green day for crypto, and the hour is green as well. MicroStrategy on MicroStrategy.com. They bought another 14,620 Bitcoin and now hold 189,150 Bitcoin in their treasury. On CryptoPotato.com, the compromi compromise made by Grayscale in response to the SEC's cash-only orders highlights the regulatory challenges. Grayscale has submit a submitted a modified S3 filing for the conversion of its GBTC Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF on the same day of its surprising leadership shuffle at Digital Currency Group, their parent company. The asset manager reportedly reached a compromise by agreeing to adhere to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission stipulation for cash only creation and redemption. Looking at Bitcoin, we continue to watch. Um, right now, it's still just consolidating in this uh, bullish triangle that it's in. Uh, currently moving up, it bounced right off support of this uh, bullish triangle. And so we were looking at several scenarios on what could happen, possibly consolidate uh, in this uh, triangle until the beginning of the new year. We could possibly see another drop, maybe down to the uh, 0.5 Fibonacci or even the 618, uh, the golden pocket, uh, possibly, and then bounce back up. Could see a decline below that, but we think that is unlikely going into the new year. We also could see us break up through this resistance up to the upside, maybe get up into that 48,000 range. But all of this, all of these scenarios are, are good news. Even if we get a further retracement, it's just a buying opportunity. I would love it if we got down to this 37.5, I'd be buying more. So not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but we're looking at several scenarios. We think the most likely is unless we get some uh, more news related to the Bitcoin spot ETF that it's highly, it's, it's probably, uh, or the most likely in our opinion is that we would consolidate within this bullish triangle. Looking at, uh, at, uh, market cap. So total market cap and then others, which is total market cap minus the top 10. We're seeing a sharp increase in tokens that aren't in the top 10 by market cap. So totals kind of following along with Bitcoin, but we're seeing this others really shoot up. And if we we're measuring from the having three post peak low, uh, it's up at 163% since then the others market cap. So if we come in say to about November, you can see it really shoots up. Uh, totals only up 28, about the same as Bitcoin up 22 others up 57 cents November. So all of the crypto less the top 10 by market cap are moving at a steeper pace at this moment. And so looking at Bitcoin on the monthly, Bitcoin is up 14.32% in this candle that's going to close in four days, eight hours. Uh, we, we still would expect that we'd reach the 0.6, somewhere between the 0.65 Fibonacci retracement and 380% up from the uh, having three post peak low, which would put us between 50,000 and 60,000 by the having four event, which is expected April 18th, 2024. Looking at the Bitcoin box chart, we drew a, a resistance line from a little bit below the peak and having one, considerably below the peak and having two, a little bit below the peak and having three. So touching on all of those. And if we follow that same resistance trend, that put us up around a half a million dollar Bitcoin by uh, the end of the having four cycle, which we would expect if we follow, follow the past cycles to be around the end of October, 2025. Ethereum making a nice move right now. And uh, so we do see Ethereum pumping up in this channel, uh, uptrending channel that has been uh, moving in for quite some time now since clear back in October, late October, 2023. 
And we're at the midway point right now, moving up at $2,371 for Ethereum. Possibly getting pretty close to the high within this channel, which is uh, $2,403. Bitcoin dominance recently broke through this uptrending support, came down below looking at this weekly chart on tradingview.com. And so we're going to be watching that. And we see that as well in the chart we looked at earlier regarding dominance, uh, or not dominance, but um, total market cap, where we see the others moving up sharply and total moving pretty much horizontally, forming a W right now, looking at the daily on tradingview.com. So we see this dominance taking place, this dominance drop down through support taking place. And so we're going to be keeping an eye on Bitcoin dominance. Um, looking at uh, further news on BNCrypto.com, uh, Say continues December rise with yet another all-time high. So Say is retreated from that all-time high of 54 cents, roughly 53.8 cents, uh, right down on uh, support, previously resistance. And so we'll have to see if it bounces off this uh, and continues to recognize this previous resistance as support for Say. But uh, looking very good right now, and so we're going to continue to watch. But we have got a nice drop down from the 53.8 cents down to 44.8 cents at this point. Further news on youtoday.com, XRP and Cardano score a new major listing on Binance amid epic announcement. Binance introduces XRP and Cardano, ADA trading pairs against USDC signaling strategic move and return to stablecoin of stablecoin to its platform. And so good news for the largest cryptocurrency uh, centralized exchange. And so this is all good news for Cardano and XRP. Um, looking at Cardano and XRP compared to Ethereum, since uh, the relatively the same amount of time before the having three events, so about 16 weeks before the Bitcoin having three event. And now we can see XRP is up about 177, Ethereum up 1474, and Cardano up 1528. Cardano had a much steeper rise in the last cycle moving into the peak, which was November 8th, week of November, November 8th, 2021. But we wanted to look at uh, what kind of percentage Ethereum moved in the last cycle as Cardano and XRP are, are essentially one cycle behind. And so from this point back in 16 weeks before Bitcoin having three to the peak of Ethereum, just using our measuring tool is about a 27 X. So if you, if you believe that uh, Car Cardano and XRP can do what Ethereum did last cycle, then that would be uh, somewhere in the 27 X range. Uh, but we're starting to see some good moves in Cardano and even Ethereum starting to move up. So we're going to be continuing in the new year into uh, looking at our big dollar themes, what we think will be big dollar themes in the Bitcoin having four cycle. Top on that list being gaming infrastructure, uh, then DPN, decentralized physical infrastructure networks like Chainlink, uh, the graph, um, things like that. And then uh, particular gaming, which hard to pick who's going to be the big winner in that space, the first big winner, then artificial intelligence, GambleFi, and real-world assets, RWAs. So we'll continue that in the new year. So thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe, hit the like button, the notification bell, and share it with others. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.